Hello guys and welcome to episode 44 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we've made a lot of progress once again in this turn so far um, by taking Strasbourg and uh, yeah that's really really good. <laughs> it's uh, basically destroyed another chunk of the French forces and they really are struggling. We might be able to get all the way to Munich which would be absolutely fantastic. There is this army board here. Like a very upgraded barracks. I'd like to get my hand on that. Especially as we continue into Europe. Now I kind of want to find some cash. Um, I think I'm going to stop the re repair of these ships. And by doing so I allow myself to repair this building, this weaver's cottage, which will give us an extra 900 wealth to the region, which is good. I'd also like to repair this weaver's cottage and this commercial port at some point, uh, but I don't have the money at the moment. But uh, wow, yeah, definitely a good start. Um, we're keeping this guy here. He needs to replenish his forces before we continue. I'm probably going to get rid of some of these pikemen though. Pikemen are becoming less and less useful. They, these guys aren't very high unit rank. We'll keep the, the ones that are. I mean what I could do honestly is just merge a lot of these guys. I don't want to lose the unit ranks. Also demi cannons are a bit naff. They don't really cost much in upkeep, so... Hmm... I mean, pikemen don't either. Ah, uh, let's just leave them for now, it's fine. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Start from the bottom. Over in... Portugal. How many forces can we move out? I kind of want to get our general out of there if I can. Or maybe we could we leave the general in there march. and bring out the men. Waiting for orders. Uh, I think I'm going to move like 33rd over here. These chaps, they all need to come down and help out at Gibraltar. We're going to defend that with our troops. I just realised I can't get here <laughs> because of the gentleman on the bridge still. <laughs> oh, epic facepalm. Jesus. This game, guys. It's just stop it, game. Please. I'm going to send a couple of reinforcements back to France. Might send the general back as well. It's fine. I'll have the 33rd foot available to come and reinforce there if I need to. Actually, mm, saying that, I might leave the fresh unit here. Because, just in case these guys come back and attack us. These guys can definitely start heading back towards France. We're going to have to keep the guys in Portugal because public order issues. I might spend what little bit of cash we have fixing up some of these farms. They don't cost much to fix. Which is why I never demolished them in the first place. Okay. Who else do we need to move? Oh yeah, Shakely's fine. These guys are all fine. Although this chap here can move out. He's going to start heading towards 
The Plains Nations. Where's the border? It's here. There we go. Oh, we do have this attack to do as well. Look at that. Go take York Factory. Demand a surrender. Oh, they just surrendered. Oh, that's great. How come the governor's mansion is damaged? They surrendered. Oh well. Time for our missionary to move on. He has a new mission. We've got to convert the Plains Nation before we take them over. I think we identified there wasn't really many forces defending that, so that's fine. But uh, yeah, taking York Factory is a nice little addition. Doesn't really give us too much, but once we get a port here, once this harbour village grows, we'll get some extra trade, which will be nice. Yeah, not a substantial gain, but uh, another region added towards our victory conditions. Where are we with our victory conditions? 25 out of 50 regions held. We're not actually too far. We're about a quarter of the way through the campaign. We're about 50% of the way there, so that's quite nice. Wow. Look at this. Just looking at the prestige here. The Maratha Confederacy Enlightenment is 190. The Indians way ahead in tech. Economics as well. They have a bigger military than me. I have the biggest military otherwise. Spanish have the biggest navy. <laughs> I mean, I guess they did back in history. Until uh, we absolutely crushed them. Hmm. Because they did have, of course, the, the Spanish Armada. And that's pretty much what they have at the moment. <laughs> but I'm going to be looking to, you know, keep knocking on the door of the Spanish eventually. Need to go to Cagliari and Naples and stuff. It's going to be hard though with their ships hanging about. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, the reason that uh, the Maratha Confederacy gets so far ahead is mainly because they take all the regions off the Mughals and then they have like a butt ton of like buildings really help them out. So if we go to like at diplomacy for example, we talk to the Maratha Confederacy. Can we request alliance? Okay, well worth a try. Um, if we talk about technology we can see that they have a lot of the the late tech agricultural technology already. Yeah. But they're like rampaging at the moment through Persia. I think they're going to take out Persia maybe. Start knocking on the door of the Ottomans. That'd be interesting. But uh, the Maratha Confederacy always get really strong. It's it's kind of something that they modelled wrong, I think, with India in general. India did not become that, this strong that quick. Anyway. Um, let's see, shall we? Most of my troops are moved. Just double checking. Always good to. They're en route to America. That's fine. Strasbourg ain't happy, but probably will be next turn, so I'm not too concerned about that. We get a rebellion, we can crush it pretty quick. With this guy, I think we're going to try and infiltrate. And okay, that was su successful. We can see what they're up to then. And uh, we have another rate coming anyway, so even if he dies, uh, we might be able to just replace him. He's expendable now. I don't find rakes very useful at all. 
I could honestly take that one down and kill off this gentleman, though. That might be an idea. This rake is enjoying his journey through America. It's like a bounty hunter. Or just like a straight up cowboy. <laughs> Hunting himself down some Native Americans. Yeah, I think we move on to the next turn. Oh boy. Did you guys see that big Spanish Navy arriving in North America? That's scary. <laughs> At least Prussia haven't come knocking yet. That's good. So what will Sweden do? Will they naval invade England? No, they didn't do anything. Thank God. Okay, so what we're going to do with our fleet is we're going to land in the port of the French and then land yeah land our troops keep our navy in there until we know where the Spanish navy is again because otherwise we could just lose our entire navy and that would be less than ideal Right, advanced in military technology. We're now working on explosive shells. Right, this will allow us to get Royal Welsh Fusiliers. We can only get one of them. They're an 80-man Grenadier squad. Okay. Amish to America. Following extensive persecution of their in their native lands for their practices of adult baptism and opposition to the union of church and state, the Am Amish have been granted safe haven in America by prominent uh, Quaker William Penn. A radical sect of Menonites from Switzerland and the Palatinate, the Amish are regularly martyred there by an intolerant opposition, oft by tying them in sacks and throwing them into rivers to drown. As their very existence is under threat, the Amish are moving to Pennsylvania en masse at the invite of William Penn as part of his holy experiment in religious to tolerance. Wow. Okay, works on strike, that's fine. James Alexander still spying. Uh, election results looking good. Nice. Okay, fleet arrived. I think the f Spanish possibly just followed us through. Here we're just going to go and take this area. Thank you very much. Okay, surrender accepted. Lovely stuff. Let's just get rid of this. Nobody wants to be Catholic in the new world. Don't be silly. How much does this cost to fix? Oh, 1,000. Why? <laughs> right, he can join our fleet here. That was the purpose of sending him in, in this direction in the first place. Um, I probably want to fix up my fleet, honestly. Um, but we do see that there has been the arrival of these men down here. Um, I think we're just going to head back. <laughs> okay. We captured that. Good start. Kevin McDowell. Oh no, our leader died. Our poor leader. He was very old, to be fair. He died en route to Newfoundland. Death at sea. Poor chap. Right, we're going to wait until this has sorted itself out. I might have to fix up this governor's man mansion just so I can move on. That's fine. 
Um, this guy will meet them there anyway. I mean, this guy's Michael McDowell. Maybe he's his son. I kind of feel like I should make him a leader. I don't know, but having a leader over there is kind of pointless. Uh, what about these chaps? Hmm. I guess maybe what I could do is just reinforce this army. We take out a couple of the cannons. Anything more? Yeah, I think we're just going to do that. We'll just reinforce them, and then we'll head back towards Panama again. How much does this cost? 570? I think we can afford that. Just help with the public order. Might go for the replenishment there as well. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Okay. Uh, they did not reinforce Stuttgart. Alright, we should be able to just make them surrender. Let me just bring these guys into range. Any further orders? Okay, there we go. Use those go back in there. I'm gonna bring down some troops from Cologne. Try and sort out the happiness here. Probably his happiness isn't great here either. <laughs> uh, maybe we could send back one. Or two. Saying that. We'll send back the depleted forces. It's not really making them very happy. How much is that bringing us in? And how much are we making? Can we exempt them from tax for now? If I can bring out more of these men, Anything then I will. Forward. Yeah, that's fine. So these are relatively depleted chaps, but we've put them all into Stuttgart because we're likely to get attacked from Munich. Picked ourselves up another college, though. Oh yeah, the one at Salamanca's been fixed, hasn't it? That's good. More technology. 40 turns? Wow. Interchangeable parts. Minus 3% upkeep cost for all army units and naval units. Oh, that's a really nice tech, actually. Let's have Heidelberg start working on that. Um, Salamanca can work on... Huddling Furnace. Sure. Why not? Okay. Um, with that done, we're going to be looking to take Bavaria sooner than later. Because then I can start researching all the way up to the the tomb firing here and light infantry doctrine and shortened uh, carbines and fire in advance. Fire in advance is pretty useful actually. Reorganized procurement, that's not as good. Extra upkeep cost. New model bayonet drill, plus three percent, plus three charge. I like that as lot, a lot as well. So rockets would be great. We can get rocket troops. Yeah, rockets are really a game changer for the Brits. All right, let's have Leopold, Leopold, uh, zoom on round. Um, what about the Spanish? They didn't attack us, did they? And the gentleman's moved. Hmm. I'm feeling like we should attack. We have these guys come out of More orders. Madrid. That's fine. What about these guys as well? Troops, 
Yeah, that's still fine. I might just have the 33rd foot move into Madrid. They can have a holiday. And we'll have these guys come down and engage with these guys. I think that's fine. Actually, these guys are damaged. So let's jump into this battle. Wipe out the Spanish on the Iberian Peninsula. That would be really good because I can start building up a lot of the forces there. Or, or a lot of the buildings even. Yeah, that's going to be really, really good. We are going to have to keep a little bit of a garrison on the Iberian Peninsula, I think. Just so that we don't get naval invaded by the Spanish again. But we should be fine. Now we control the forts. We should be okay. I will end deployment. It's pretty simple. Uh, our force is coming in behind them anyway, so yeah, we'll just sort of march towards them here. Well, I'm probably going to want to break out to the right here and to the left. Actually, we'll just mm, we'll send two to the right. The reason I'm doing that is because it's less of an incline, and on the left, it's pretty harsh incline. These guys need to spread out ASAP. Okay, we just want to get out of the way of these guns if we can. It's good that they've entrenched themselves actually because it means we just have to deal with the infantry. Oh, play square. Oh, they're going to hit us before. Ah. Okay. Uh, not sure how bad this is going to be. Okay. Stay in the square. How the hell did they let that happen? Kill this dude. There we go. Finally somebody manned up. Okay, good. Oh, we got out of the way of the guns. So now we start to march down from up here. Good. These guys come out of that formation. Start wandering over there. I'm pretty sure that's them just dealt with. They're just going to run away. If they come back. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Yeah, they're gone. I right, no longer have to worry about cavalry. That's good. Uh, these guys need to stop. Uh, um, and fire. Preferably. Honestly, I might just go for like a straight up melee charge into them because we'll be fighting downhill anyone onto them. And that means I can just run these guys in. These guys can run in. I don't really care if these troops in Spain take too much damage. Those guys can go and attack the artillery. These ones can come and line up like so. I'm going to take out these guys with the guns. May as well. I 
Alright, let's just charge into these chaps now. And that should be game over. Nice. I like it when it says heroic victory. Oh, military technology. Oh, that's that's the one we read before. I need to get rid of these messages. <laughs> That really confused me, then I was like, did we get a military technology from winning the battle? <laughs> seemed very odd. I mean, Gibraltar seems fine without any sort of garrison now, which is good, I guess. It's not giving us any tax. Oh, it's because they're exempt from tax. Uh, let's not exempt them from tax and put the forces back in there. That's fine. Um, we'll have these guys head up now to Madrid again. And I'm going to start taking more troops out of Portugal. Get some of those cannons out. That's good. Might keep some cannons here. Maybe fix up these buildings. That naval college. Hmm. It would be good to repair it because it would allow us to research the last technologies here. Ooh, rifled naval cannons. Wow. They would be really accurate. I think what's more important than fixing up these buildings, though, is re-equipping <laughs> or rebuilding these towns. Is this prosperous one? I think the craft workshops are the only ones that benefit from being prosperous, aren't they? So we'll do that there. Here. We've already got our college, so we don't need another one. Do we get a, like a smith's and a, and a weaver's workshop anyway? Or maybe we get a coaching in? I mean, we already have the pleasure gardens up here. Seems like a waste because that is a prosperous town. That's why I built the church on a very poor place. I mean, this one's only poor, so let's build the, the weavers there. I'm not sure about the smiths. Like, I'm really tempted to, like, demolish this pleasure garden. Doing that. Also, it's providing so much happiness. Probably a bad idea. I might start building a coaching in here. And uh, what we'll do is we will demolish the pleasure gardens at Barcelona. And then build... Build a sort of... Weaver's Hut or whatever else there. Just so that we make money from it instead of using it for happiness. Alright, so that should really improve the economy in Spain at least. Because our tax rate is 28%, which is pretty good. The administration costs reducing that. So that's fine. We can try and fix that later down the line. I think what I'm going to do is try and fix this military governor's barracks. That's because it will give me a little bit of extra repression. That will allow me to move on with some of these forces. Which I think I'm going to merge. I'll merge those guys, that's fine. Make an extra whole unit that can maybe used, be used to defend Stuttgart, Stuttgart in the future. 
Alright, so, um, what I'm going to do now is uh, look to take Munich. I'm hoping that they attack us with their forces, and then we can counterattack and take the settlement. We're also probably going to wait until this town is finished, because getting another modern university would be very nice, and we can let France build it for us. Nice. And that, guys, though, has unfortunately been my time. And that's where I'm going to have to leave it. Interesting episode. Maybe not as action-packed. But um, we've made progress. We took Stuttgart. Um, we've taken, obviously, Newfoundland. Definitely making progress towards our overall victory conditions. We're now on 27 regions held out of 50. So, yeah, it's looking good. By the way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>